good morning all the students i am happy to see you all here for this conclave series which is our second year of conclave i professor bhagyashri pande thoroughly pleased to witness you all here in this event that is spectrum mit thd conclave 2023 extend your arms in welcome to the future the best is yet to come and that's why we have organized this conclave right is my immense privilege to welcome you all on behalf of mit school of distance education i welcome all the participants our today's guest our director sir mit's dis staff and our all today's speakers in this conclave so we are truly delighted with your presence here spectrum is a range of a particular type of thing an array of entities as light waves or particulars this band or series of colors together with extensions at the ends that are not visible to the eye but that can be studied by means of photography heat it effects etc so with the same philosophy we mit school of distance education all have gathered here today for this conclave 2023 to get an insight of the industry happenings the upcoming opportunities changing skill requirements and booming sectors to look out for and hence we have called various industry stalwarts in this conclave series so we have organized this conclave to get to know more about practical challenges faced by the industries at various sectors with this before moving ahead i would request our team member to start with saraswati vandana i request everyone to pray saraswati devi to start with this conclave ya thank you so much can we have our next slide so this was a very much positive start for the day for this conclave 2023 i hope that everyone must have geared up now to listen to our speakers so let us know more about spectrum conclave 2023 This is an event to give our all our students a bird's eye view of the industry happenings as i said earlier to know more about the upcoming opportunities changing skill requirements and the booming sector to look out for so some of the important highlight of this conclave will be this is going to be 8 days long conclave program in this conclave we we'll, we are going to have 24 uh, sessions three sessions in a day and this will be obviously on a weekends every saturday and sunday so as we are starting from today 10th june from today onwards every saturday and sunday till 2nd july we are going to have this sessions and the timing will be 9:30 to 3:30 pm each session will be approximately of 1 and 1/2 hours and for the same like now we are having a zoom platform every day we are going to share zoom links with all of your students so that all of you can attend and get more from the speakers from the conclave can we have a next slide so this is going to be the schedule for all the conclave sessions uh, for example this is our first day 10th june topic 1 will be from 9:30 to 11 second 11:30 to 1 
and uh, then we'll be having a lunch break and 2 to 3 30 will be our third session and similarly all the uh, sessions will be followed in the same manner can we have a next slide yes i request uh, first of all i would like to give you an introduction of our today's inaugural speaker uh, ms rinku christopher so i request to stop the screen sharing here and requesting rinku ma'am to share, uh, share her screen here yes so yes students i would like to uh, give you an introduction of our today's inaugural speaker uh, ms rinku christopher she is a global sourcing leader in a reputed retail organization a commerce graduate from mount carmel college which is a part of bangalore university she is an mba from nmims specializing uh, specializing in leadership strategy operations supply chain management in her current role she leads a global supply chain portfolio managing people and vendors across the globe over 16 years of engagement ensuring surety of supply and providing best quality products or services to customers through her work she can impact on the lives of millions of families improving supply chain performance collaborating with multiple stakeholders and industry leads for alignment and negotiations managing supplier matrix delivering kpis leading business meetings performance management diversity and inclusion engagement ensuring surety of supply lead time reduction and more are part of her daily life at work so this was a very small introduction i am very much happy uh, that ma'am you are there with us today for this inaugural of conclave 2023 i would like to hand over this uh, platform to you to uh, give us some uh, motivation words related to this conclave so requesting you to take it over thank you professor bagshri and i it 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 was so it was a melody to my ears to understand who i am I mean, you put it in a very good way thank you uh, good morning everybody um, i mean it's so exciting i'm feeling really grateful and proud uh, to be a part of this conclave uh what i hear from the uh, your professors is that this program has been specially designed for all of the students keeping in mind the needs of uh, i believe that there are freshers also and there are students who have 15 years plus of uh, work experience so i'm i'm told that every student was kept in mind while designing this conclave which is happening for the second year now and uh, your professors have um, you know made the agenda in such a way that you have a variety of experts a diverse background of experts coming and speaking to you and letting you know um some facts about the art domain right and uh, with that i would want to start off this inaugural uh, part of mine which i'm going to be here for another 10 to 15 minutes 10 minutes i guess we are running short of time and uh, want to start off with a quote which says um i'm going to skip the introduction okay because uh, ms bhagyashree has already done it so uh, i'm going to start off with a quote which was really inspiring to me saying management is doing right things okay management is doing right things but leadership is doing the right thing um it can be a very confusing statement also and it can sound very simple but it's very complex uh many a times as leaders in the industry when you venture out in the world or in your personal lives you get a lot of you you put into many situations right we are here to be managing situations we are here to manage um manage every different scenario that comes to us otherwise we do not need people we'll only re- need uh, robots and ais okay so the world will never want people but then we are human here in blood and flesh flesh just to take the right decision and to keep the world moving in the right way and with this i want to uh, show this uh, next slide i don't know if you all know bob dylan uh, one of the greatest singer um, but then these lines are from bob dylan okay it says the line it is drawn the curse it is cast the slow one now will later be fast as the present now will later be past the order is rapidly fading and the first one now 
will later be lost. For the times, they are changing, right? This can be very poetic, okay? And can, I mean, I, I know you will not get it in the first go, but then for those who are able to grasp it, in crux, it talks about how the world is changing today and um, just want, how the world is changing today and why it is important for us to cope up. Otherwise, we will be left behind. Okay. Um, with this, I would want to, I want to, I want to uh, let you all know that me, I'm here to share what I have uh, gone through in my experience of 16 years of my life uh, in this, in, you know, in this uh, sourcing industry, because I'm here to share some of my experience and will let you all know why is it important to be aware of various aspects of business various streams of business and why it is important to understand the roles of different stakeholders in the business we might have different specializations so somebody might specialize in finance or business or hrm but then uh, when you become a leader when you get into the world and when you are someday somewhere a ceo uh, people will generally not come to you to update you as to what is happening they will come to you to look up to you okay so my experience and knowledge of management in this industry has allowed me to understand every aspect of business and different decisions made at every management level at every different meeting that I attend. Whenever you go into a room which has experts, people will automatically look, they will say what they have to say, but they will automatically look up to you. Okay, today's world is not easy. Uh, 16 years back when I joined the industry, it was it, it was difficult because I did not know much about the industry. Technically, I had learned something, but I did not know how to, uh, um, uh, you know, impact my work. But today, after 16 years, or maybe earlier also, I, I gained the understanding because I changed with time. I adapted to so many things, right? So if I were to be in my own domain and say, okay, I will only negotiate cost and I will not do anything else, I don't think I would have been here. It is because of my passion it is because of the learnings that i have put into my life that i have learned a little bit of everything right a little bit of operations finance logistics hr uh business it's not that we will specialize in everything but we ought to know because people are going to look up to you because you are going to make decisions and you and we're just not going to make decisions we're going to make right decisions right um I don't know if you all attended my previous session on business management where I spoke about the VUCA world, I spoke about the world, how it is changing and how volatile it is. So um, as managers, when you get into the industry, when you get into your real action time, uh, man you have to be competent to make the right decisions for business in times of crisis and uncertainty, right? We all will be impacted by many different external changes and uh, internally as well. All that we need to do is to prevent damage, right? To business financially and important, keeping people in mind, not just internal people that you have within your organization, but the lives whom you're impacting in the world outside. Uh, professor spoke about uh, my job and how, I'm impa how I am impacting lives. So every decision that I make, every approval that comes to me on my table, I think of how this will impact somebody else, impact a family, right? When I'm thinking of it, I cannot just be one directional. I'll have to have a very holistic way of thinking. And that's why it's important that you all attend this conclave and relate to every different expert speakers and get what they have to say. Take, have your own takeaways, make notes, take your takeaways and try to apply it in your real life because all of these experts are speaking with their experience. And that is a, that the beauty of this conclave, I guess, because nobody did that to me. I had to go and make, go to YouTube, go everywhere and search, search. But I think MIT is giving it to you and I mean, hats off. So please make use of it. Um, so it's a, like I was saying, it's a different leadership style today, right? The one which has the courage to take actions when the experts are giving you advice. You will have experts to do many things. Don't be scared to get into the world. Be fearless because 
every industry will have expert uh, hr expert a finance expert every expert will give you advice but you as a leader if you want to become that okay if you aspire to become that you will need to take action against the experts that means you will have to know a holistic view of what the business is means you will have to know you will have to have an understanding and an empathy most important to how the business works on the other end um this is what what i have to say and uh, if any of you have any questions uh, i would give you that three to four minutes uh, because i the next speaker is waiting but i i hope this is giving you enough of inspiration and motivation because it is important to get the flavors of different speakers only then you will have the best recipe on your plate otherwise if you miss out on the salt if you miss out on the water if you miss out on anything the dish is not going to be tasty so i really uh, humbly uh, you know uh, uh, ask you to take what absorb everything and ask questions and get into the groove and move on thank you you're perfectly right ma'am so students if you have any questions you can ask in the chat box i will help uh, to read those questions so that ma'am can address them we can take it for next 4 uh, 5 minutes so that we can start with the next session so yes students do you have any questions so maybe uh, currently students are not having any okay. questions but ma'am yes i uh, i would like to uh, say here that uh, the points which you shared being a leader or being even a common person we need to be very much open to learn uh, then only we can get some uh, related experiences which we can explore more and even being a leader we need to be more holistic and and yes for the same reason we have organized this conclave with a variety of uh, speakers with from different different backgrounds and uh, and that's the same reason we haven't freezed any theme or any specific specialization for this uh, because any uh, the students who are working for professionals they are working at a different levels and we want them to learn more from our speakers for this conclave so yes ma'am i guess there are no questions and thank you so much for being here for this inaugural session and thank you for joining us in this special event so actually today my words are not enough to express your gratitude for uh, gracing us uh, with your valuable and insightful word ma'am thank you so much all of you for, for being having me and all the best students uh, do well all the best out of my heart thank you thank everyone you. thank you so much have a nice time ma'am